<laughs> okay, now let's welcome back to the cook of the nation, Jo Seeger. She's going to be chatting to us about hospice this morning, but she's in with Mark making her chocolate chunk oat cookies, which are very famous. Also, the spiced apple nut crumble slice. Hi, Jo. Hi, Braden. Good to be here. Oh, that's so nice to have you. Now, we're going to be doing some baking with Mark today. What have we got on the menu? Well, Mark's going to be doing most He's going to do the baking. Yeah, put put him to task. Yeah. Well, we've got chocolate cookies over there, chocolate and oat cookies, which sounds absolutely fantastic. Chocolate chunk and oat. Sorry. Yeah, get so I've already done it wrong. We've <laughs> not even started cooking yet. <laughs> and then apple and almond slice. Yes, a nut sort of crumble slice. <laughs> You're pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> Going home. He'll be there by the end of the show, John. Yeah, he'll get there, he'll get there. What have we got here too, by the way? Oh, these are the lovely hospice baubles that are available um, this year. It's our fourth year running yep. with the farmers and $10 and the whole, all the money goes straight Excellent. to the hospice, local hospice. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen, and we're delighted, of course, to welcome back Joe Seeger. Joe, we're making this wonderful recipe, but you've got a wee tip for us first. Oh, yes, look, I'm lining the tin, yeah. and it says in the recipe, this is where we're very versatile, yeah. a 20 by 30 slice tin. Sure. But of course, that's not available today. No. We've got a smaller sort of 20 by 20. Yep. But my little tip is I spray it to act like glue, <coughs> turn it over, yeah. got the baking pan. Paper, and then you can kind of get the folds. You know, ah. see how you do, kind of get the shape yeah. of it, get the folds. Just makes it easier to drop in. Totally. Yeah. I tell you what, we'll all be doing that now. Save us <laughs> some time. So, what is this recipe that we're about to um, get Mark working on? This is a lovely um, apple spice nut crumble. Oh, careful there. <laughs> crumble slice. It could be a dessert. It's great for a dessert, or you know, off a shout, something oh, like that. Okay. Gets lots of nuts in it, lots of apples, raisins, so you know you can kind of sneak in the totally. good stuff as well. And we know your recipes are very well tested. They're not the sort of recipes that people just have one of, do they? Like I've just had a piece of your fudge. I oh, may yeah. have uh, been having a couple more sneaky pieces <laughs> vitamin behind the free, scenes. Yeah. Vitamin free, but a little treat. A yeah, little treat. absolutely. Now we want to talk more about these two. There's gorgeous little baubles for hospice. Hospice, they do such incredible work, don't they? Yes, I'm the patron of Hospice New Zealand, and these are a fabulous um, little bauble that we sell at Christmas mm. with the farmers. Great partnership with the farmers. We love the farmers. Yeah. I mean, I'm in there buying my Christmas shopping anyway. Totally. But a little Christmas bauble, at the end of your shopping, when you're at the cash register, they'll say, would you like to buy one of mm. these? Costs $10. Yeah. You can easily add it on. And what a lovely treat. I mean, it's got Pahutakawa, it's got Tui's. It's a really designer, nice, Two gorgeous. Two things I love about this is one, that it costs $10, and how much of that goes to hospice? The whole $10. The whole lot. Yeah, that's, that's what the great we love, thing. isn't yeah, it? That's yeah, that's the great thing. Um, and it's easy just to add it in at the end of your shopping. Yeah. They'll ask you, and we have a great uh, sort of support group in the staff of the farmers, and yeah. they'll ask you, would you like to do this? Or there's another thing, you can do a donation. If you right. don't want this, or the $10 is just out of the budget, there's right. uh, an option for a totally, you know, free choice donation, and that, again, 100% to hospice. Fabulous. And obviously, Jenna Smith, she's a fine arts student, she won a competition to design this, which has got the gorgeous little tuis and the Bahutakawa on it as well. Yeah, she's a fine arts student, and she won a competition this year, every year. We've, do we've done this for four years mm. now, yeah. and raised over $2 million in the last That's four years. That's incredible, isn't it? So it's an easy, you know, an easy yeah. way that you can help hospice at Christmas time. And, I mean, a gorgeous bauble. I mean, that's a lovely thing. It posts brilliantly. Oh, well, that's what we love for family overseas so they can see the Tui. Mark, what are we up it's to? All right, I've oh, done yeah, the recipe here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gas Lucky bagging over here. here. Yeah. Right, so really easy to do. So first of all, we cream the uh, butter and sugar together. Oh, do you want this handy? Yeah, I'll grab that. So we made a mix with the butter and sugar, nice and uh, fluffy. Then we put the eggs in there, just mix them through one at a time. And then we added some flour, some ground almonds, uh, we did some chopped blanched almonds, some raisins. We got some spices in there, and a it's little bit of the apple. Too. Ground that's, cloves. That's cloves. That's a really. That's the kind of apple pie. Nice. Sort of taste. And like mixed that. spice yeah. as well, haven't we? Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's that, good. That's good texture. Well done. Here give that go. a good mix. Get there. that in there. Oh, and we got another tip for you. Joe's got another tip. Another tip. Full of tips today. What's my other tip? The fork tip. Oh, the fork. <laughs> no, the fork tip. No, that is for the biscuits. Oh, oh, oh no, the fork, the fork tip. tip. Yeah, what's, what's the, the next biscuits? tip? In just a moment. I'm quite big on cups, though. Getting a measuring cup, 250 mil metric cup, and levelling it off. I know we've had help getting these measured first. Honestly. But 
if you want it to look like the picture, you you've got to follow the follow rules. It. And now it's time to make Joe Seeger's chocolate chunk oat cookies. Mel has made these for many a shared lunch, apparently, because they've got the healthy factor, even though the chocolate's in there. <laughs> And the butter and the sugar. And the butter. Yeah, <laughs> hush. Hey, it's Ignore a treat. That. It's a treat. It we know treat. what's gone in it. That's the major thing. Exactly. Yeah, we, we can know see the ingredients, yeah. and that's really important. So what are we doing now? Right. You've got the uh, 250 of butter and three tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk and three quarters of a cup of sugar. Now, that needs to be quite whipped, quite pale and frothy. How are you going there? You're on that? Yeah, no, I'm on that. There you go. And I'm chopping chocolate. This is my, yeah. This is probably my most requested recipe of all recipes. And I know not just this cafe, but cafes all around the country yeah. make these. And they're just a lovely crunchy biscuit and you know great for the lunch box or a little treat we're not suggesting you eat them all no. day do no. you get a sense of pride though if you'd go into a good heartland cafe and they've got some of your biscuits on the menu that must yeah, be kind of cool actually, i do like that i really yeah. like and my brownies sort of quite famous around yeah. the country too and i think um because i've cooked for cafes you know i kind yeah. of know the process of getting those Recipes so, correct. How fine are we going with the chocolate? Chocolate chunk. Yeah. And it's great because it could be dark, white, and you know, milk chocolate, white chocolate, chocolate buttons, chocolate chips, um, or just a block of chocolate oh, like this. Hello. Two, started at 200 grams, might be slightly less now yep. if you follow. Well, that tends to happen, doesn't it? The chocolate sort of just dis disappears quite spontaneously when you're cooking. But watch fingers in here. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, now, that, oh, that's beautiful. That's nice and fluffy and white. Now, in goes one and a half cups of rolled oats, and I quite like those rather coarse whole grain ro yeah. rolled oats, not sort of flat porridgey ones. So we're getting, uh, like, a, a quite a coarse thing to go with the chunks in the chocolate as well. So yeah, it, and it helps with the sort of nice crunchiness yeah. of the thing. And Excellent. a little teaspoon of baking powder. If you just mix that up, and then we're ready to throw this in. So these will go in there as well once Mark's done the rest of the mixing there. Yeah, just, we'll just give that a little mix he's got. Going too fast there, that's good. <laughs> Flour everywhere. Are there any rules with cookies? Is it, you know, I know that some certain things you don't overmix and stuff like that, but with cookies, is it Look, are they I think, yeah, to, I, you know, people either like that soft, chewy American style of yeah. one. I like a crisp biscuit. Same. And I think slightly, do you agree with us, slightly lower temperature for biscuits. Yeah, 170, yeah you don't want to draw it out too much. Yeah. And um, just again, if you accurate, accurately measure. Yep. Hey, that's good. I'm just going to put this chocolate in. Perfect. You come around oh, here you. and I'll do top back of the knife. Notice Gosh. that. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Thank you. I'm really Teamwork. loving what we're Teamwork. Yeah, we could do this. This uh, would be great. Yeah, yeah, this is great. The Mark and Joe show. Yeah, well, hey, you, you I'm could talk that. and I could just do all the work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that. I well, like gonna, that. Yeah. We're going to um, obviously get these now. in the oven. So oh. you're saying one, 170, but you do have a tip. Yeah, 170. And when you make these into, I mean, like, it, but you get about 30 out of here right. if you make that sort of wine biscuit size. Yep. But when you make the little balls like that, and again, I've just put a bit of baking paper. I use my baking paper again and again. Mm. I don't, um, you know, I don't throw it away. I just wash Recycling. it off. Recycling. Yeah, yeah, I love that too. A so wet the fork. The yep. wet fork. This is where the fork came in. <laughs> you don't. I don't dunk mine in flour. I just do it ah. in water and just squash them down a little bit. Bit of room to spread out. Oh, hey, this is teamwork. There we go. Look at They'll that. spread out a bit, but if you use flour, you get lines across the right. I don't know. No, we no, don't want no, that. No, no. Thank you so much, Joe. This is going to be so delicious. And of course, the re recipe is on our website, thecafe.co.nz. The baking turned out. Fantastic. Look at that. Wow. So, wow. These and look fudge. amazing.